He is ruthless, determined, and deadly. He is one of the greatest military tacticians the world has ever known. A brilliant strategist, he leads men who gladly kill for him and die for him. All for the greater glory of Greece. He is Alexander the Great. In the fourth century BC, Alexander rules more than half the known world, but it's not enough. He wants more. Hungry to expand his empire, Alexander looks forward to his newest conquest, India. All that's preventing the Greek leader are two immense rivers and three quarters of a million Indian soldiers. In 31 BC, the Battle of Arbella, nearly 50,000 Greeks fight their longtime enemy, the Persians. For hundreds of years, these two superpowers have spilled each other's blood. The Greeks are outnumbered two to one. But on this October day, they emerge victorious and change the course of history. Credited to the tactical brilliance of the 25-year-old commander, Alexander the Great, it's his time now. Alexander has this kind of larger-than-life aura about him. He's handsome with a muscular build, and he's extremely charismatic. His troops pretty much worship him. In less than five years, uh, he had managed to carry out a major strategic plan to, from Greece to invade Persia and destroy the Persian Empire. In five years, he managed to suppress his own domestic opposition and then finally was able to, to force a cataclysmic battle uh, in modern-day Iraq on the plains of Arbella, where he destroyed the last remaining Persian army and then by right of conquest became emperor of all of uh, Persia. Some say Alexander's pedigree destined him for greatness. They believe he's a descendant of Hercules on his father's side and Achilles on his mother's. Alexander's empire now stretches from Greece to Egypt to modern-day Afghanistan, one of the largest in the history of the world. But Alexander's appetite for power and glory is insatiable. Five years after he defeats the Persians, Alexander is ready to take on a new opponent. He stands with his 32,000 battle-tested soldiers along the banks of the Indus River, poised for his next conquest, India.